Hello VC, The Waxed here, and in this video, I went to a MoFi sale. There's a high-end home audio store here in downtown LA called Common Wave, and they hosted the sale of a private MoFi collection that had pretty much uh, a lot of the MoFis that have come out, even in the early, uh, early days. It was quite impressive. And in the end of this video, I have footage where you can see the, the sale. So and I was flipping through. You can look at that after I show you what I picked up. But it was, uh, I've been to, Common Wave is a great place. And uh, I've been to some of the special sales they've had there and had a great experience. I will say this, they were priced to sell. Uh, pretty much around what they go for on uh, Discogs. And although my budget's not huge, I was able to pick up about uh, four or five uh, uh, records because they did sell other things other than Mo5. They had super discs and they had some rare records. I picked up a rare record. So uh, let's get to it. I'll show you what I got. Uh, I picked up a copy of Cheap Thrills. Uh, most of the stuff they had were uh, the later Mo5s were the 45 versions. And this is a, you know, a, early number right here come on light there you go for uh 458 kind of cool so um and they were marked they graded them with these dots this meant uh mid minus so that's pretty much what i picked up maybe the some spots on the edge of the sleeves with the records or or mid minus next i picked up uh heartbeat city the cars and a lot of these are not out of, pr uh, well, one, I think, is out of print. So I got this. This is a 33, so it's not a 45. Um, iRobot, which is a, a very sought-after title. This is the 45. And, um, you know, I I was late to the Miles Davis MoFis, and this was a good price on um, Kilimanjaro, 45 version. There you go. I already took this out and listened to it. So the prices were pretty competitive. This was 70 bucks, and this might come back out. I don't know. Um, but uh, I think the other ones are still in print, and there might be uh, probably be a repress. I, I believe there'll be uh, the iRobot's going to be a one step, too. So you could correct me if I'm wrong. And then the rare record that I picked up was this uh, Blossom Deary. Um, sing so if you don't know blossom deary if you're as old as i am there was a show saturday mornings in the 70s and 80s called schoolhouse rock um where they taught kids grammar and math and uh blossom deary was one of the i don't i guess she was a songwriter but she definitely sang a lot of the songs like figure eight that's one so this is a very hard to find album and it's weird because there was another record store in la that posts stuff on Instagram, and they there was a copy of this when I got there. That it was sold out. So, um, and and the got the the reps there, who were there with the collection, they came down from uh, Northern California. He said th this mint version of this record is definitely hard to find. So not a MoFi, but that's another thing I picked up. Um, uh, again, it's a great place to go to. They do do sell records in addition to their outstanding, very high-end um, audio equipment that they have there. I suggest checking it out. I believe you do have to make appointments. But um, when you come to L.A., it's in downtown L.A., and it's a, a cool place to visit. Stay tuned, and uh, you go watch uh, the video that I have where I'm flipping through the collection. And uh, if you have comments, please leave them below. And uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. For the thumbs up. Uh, hit the notification if you want to see more of my videos and uh, i like to hear from you and until next time the waxed out